Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So remember, the energies can always be reversed. And also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information's below as well. Alright, immediate future for the gems, please. What's going on around Gemini? Well, for some, you could be moving, you could be traveling, or uh, something. something's getting realized, issues getting fixed, and it looks like it's, it's moving towards like calmer times. But with the judgment here... <clears throat> Somebody could be making a decision. Um, you could be like uh, having some type of an awakening around the situation. You're starting with the Hierophant. And the numbers are breaking down to a 7. So possibly a, after a time of like reflection or inward th thinking. You got the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There's some type of communication that's coming in. Could be from a Leo, a legal situation. Libra energy. Ooh. See that seven of swords. So for some, that's why they're paranoid to contact you. But for some, they could have ghosted. There could have been, it could have been death. But it looks like, um, or that could just be in the past altogether. Because this could definitely be something that's brand new. You have some type of communication that's coming in here. Or like I said, travel. But with the Ace of Cups, you could be meeting somebody that's brand new. Or for some, I mean, the judgment can be a reconciliation. What's this uh, judgment for Gemini, please? Let's just see. Because with the higher friends there, if you're not dealing with the Taurus, like that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty strong card there. Could have something to do with all oh, the Ten of Wands and the Two of Cups. Somebody's decided to move forward with this. If there were any type of past issues, if this is a past person, because the Knight of Pentacles is here, so things could have been moving slow in general. But um, it's interesting why the Ten of Wands is here. But you do have the um, the Ace of Cups, and you're going to the Two of Cups. So it's like somebody's made a decision. Like this is where this is where the love is, and it's mutual. There's a bond there. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So there is movement, communication, or like I said, travel. But it's interesting that the Ten of Wands is there. Somebody may have made a uh, made a very difficult decision or just decided to kind of like work on it. But why the Ten of Wands? Because that's a whole lot of effort. Show me that Ten of Wands. I mean, unless it is like moving, I guess it, the nine of cups, yeah, there's someone's wish fulfillment, but it looks like they've kind of been in contemplation mode. Somebody could sort of be kicking themselves in the ass, but there also could have been some argument. Somebody could have been pissed off. For some, there was a watch out for gossip because that was around, but it looks like things have been kind of stuck. Somebody could have actually disconnected or kind of like just closed off emotionally. All right, show me the Six of Swords for the gems, please, for the outcome. So, like I said, for some, you could be moving or traveling, but this is trying to move towards a calmer time. The star of Aquarius energy, you're getting something that you wish for, but the things that we wish for usually take this Knight of Pentacles energy. When it's something that we hoped for, wish for, it usually doesn't happen overnight. I don't know if I, you know, they say slow and steady wins the race, or is that the irony of life? You'll win it that bad, wait for it. <laughs> I'm joking. All the good things are worth waiting for, and this is real love. Show me this um, star, please, for the outcome for Gemini. Oh, all right, Five of Pentacles. I mean, it looks like somebody may have ghosted, or like for some, this is an ongoing thing. Like, uh, somebody could abandon the like, just kind of breadcrumb at points, and then, uh, I mean, it's possible somebody's having money issues, but it also looks like somebody's really been missing the fuck out of it. 
Yeah, they're trying to reconcile or date. But you got the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, boom, Three of Cups. Somebody's missing you like crazy. It's like they're trying to come see you. They want to move forward with you. They're trying to make things happen. But for some, um, somebody could very well have like a fear of abandonment. So that, that brings some worry into things, some stress. And I mean, it kind of feels like somebody is um, really hoping for this, really wishing for this. And the feelings are real. The love is real. It's like they do want to work towards it. But somebody's worried that like they're gonna they're gonna get left or that that fear is there and it's very real. The mind can kind of play tricks. The temperance card, Sagittarius energy, that healing will come though. All right, Gemini. I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information's below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.